Karen, you have a very unusual style of driving. I'm Melton Sump, carpenter. My dad, a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne, I'm the son of a carpenter. I get to make parables. This is my Tommy parable series about Tommy the No I'm Chinese fellow. Average worker of our fictional unseen business of the Orient. Unseen business of Chinese streets. A Tommy was told by his boss to stick his right arm into the wood chipper. They've always got a wood chipper around those. The Chinese streets. They've always got a wood chipper around somewhere. Told Tommy to stick his right arm into the wood chipper and he slowly fed that arm in. He's always been taught to be blind and obedient and he is. He slowly fed the arm in. The left arm saw what was going on, was of course surprised. The body had never been chipping up arms before they had an agreement. A righty wrote it up before. He got chipped up and when the lefty saw righty getting chipped up, he realized Tommy had broken that written agreement. You know, they tote stuff for Tommy, they zip up, they button up, they do the nasty stuff, they wipe butts, they pick noses, and yes, Tommy was a professional nose picker before he uh, lost both his arms. Uh, yeah, he's Chinese. If you've ever seen them in public, you know what, what they do. Tommy broke the agreement, lefty jumped off, now he just has to rely upon the kindness of strangers to pick his nose. Tommy does. And strangers aren't always kind. The good thing about that is because Tommy is blindly obedient, he got a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. He's management now. And he's got a whole lot of extra responsibility, and that's where this uh, picks up. He got Karen hired, uh, a character. You know, the Chinese, you know, all the, the streets, the unseen business, or fiction relies on staged events, and Gene pulls out people, whole of folks who look alike, taking turns being somebody, or being lots of people all over the world. The streets uh, rely on that, the unseen business, and Tommy. I uh, thought he messed up. He, he was managing just five Karens when he got them employed at this company. And he was splitting them in and out. You know, they had to go put money in the meter during the interview, and he put the next one in. Oh, well, I don't know why they do all that, you know, switching in and out, but it's our streets, our fixed and playable. And yet, then the next one will have to go to the bathroom and go outside and smoke a cigarette. He switched them in all day. He had the the stupid one in for uh, the interview. And he thought he'd lost, you know, that big opportunity. But uh, turns out the interviewer liked the stupid one. So he hired her. And as you might know, if you know our Chinese streets, uh, <clears throat> They will do something to death. They'll call up Uncle Wang and Aunt Susie, and they'll have a whole lot of folks doing the same thing. Uh, they'll have hundreds or uh, thousands of Karens moved in and out of the shoes of the Karen character. And as uh, the Ching, uh, Ching Tommy's. Personal said he needs a personal assistant more than most because you know, he's missing both his arms. As Ching gets there, he asks uh, Mia, where is Tommy? And she explains that part of one of the Karens who will be in the shoes tomorrow, being Karen, they have to drive the boss you know, to the airport. And so, uh, oh, there's also my sugar chick. I better get going. <clears throat> I'm going to make it quick today. Things just fly around all the time here. 
I forgot to switch. Oh, I'm having trouble. Between two pharmacies, one that delivers makes it easy if it's raining or if I don't feel well to go down the street. There's some mix up as far as uh, the test strip, so I may have to stop just to uh, show you my imagery for a while. Because they're like uh, months behind. And uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't used months worth of, of stuff. So I go into the doctor on Tuesday and uh, I check on stuff. Hopefully get uh, a little better pain medicine. Uh, sleep's the real pain medicine. Uh, I would work better than morphine in the hospital there. But um, where was I? Oh yeah. It turns out she's got to drive. Karen's got the Karen who's going to be in the shoes tomorrow. Has to drive Big Boss to the airport and she doesn't know how to drive. Apparently she was you know, working somewhere else as a part of the gene pool stuff and they just walked everywhere. So uh, Tommy Mia explains is teaching Karen number 1023 how to drive. And long story short, hair trigger this thing. Long story short, that Karen is in the shoes the next day. I have a, oh, about, uh, I guess somewhere between 10 and 20. I've made videos of it. I'll take the, uh, put them in the same way, Bo uh, boxes up. I, I think I've done it both ways with it on first or not on. And I've tried it both ways when that happens and it, uh, yeah, it says error when I put it in. And I have to go through like two or three to get it to work. That's happened a few times, I think. But it certainly isn't like a month, two months behind. 2.17. Not only that, I, yeah, I just noticed uh, on the, the strips that they delivered uh, that... Uh, Says I'm supposed to be doing it three times a day. She never told me. The doctor never told me about that. Okay, back to. Um, so I shouldn't be months behind. It, it might be a case of the CVS already uh, filled the the thing. This was what was last time, and now the other pharmacy that actually delivers once a month for free. Otherwise, you got to pay eleven bucks. It, uh, you can't do it because of that. I have to find out. But, uh, anyway. Long story short. I can do that. Karen's driving the boss to work the next day. And he, he says, you are a very good driver, Karen. But I have to say, you, you've got a very unusual style of driving. And, she says, I do. And he, yes, you do. I've never seen anybody drive like that before. It was Tommy who was teaching her how to drive yesterday, and Tommy drives different. So, of course, he's telling her how to use the blinkers, how to uh, pull out into traffic, uh, all that kind of thing, and he always kept reminding her. Twelve! Twelve! But yeah, you know, a lot of driving instructors, they'll tell you to put your you know, hands at 10 and 2. Tommy doesn't have arms. He drives it, yeah, it hurts his teeth, so he lets his girlfriend aim at the snake pit. You know, he does that mean snake dance now. Missing both arms, he's always been scaling. Always talked with that horse lisp, and 
he likes to stick his tongue out a lot. So now he does that really good snake dance, and he won her heart, and he lets her drive because it hurts his teeth to drive, because he, he's a very animated driver. He weaves in and out of traffic, and he doesn't have his arms, and he could drive with one leg as, you know, as long as he doesn't have to, especially since he no longer has a stick. You know, the, he's got an automatic now, he could, but he uses his mouth, and it hurts his teeth. He likes to wave in and out, weave in and out of traffic, and so he tells, you know, Karen, and if he has to teach some more of them to drive, he'll tell him. Twelve! Twelve! Keep your hands at twelve. I'm a mountain sound for Carpenter. Try to call me 424 229 4140. Yeah, I wanted to make this short, but yeah, I've got flash draft waivers, but I don't know how well you can read them, but uh, it's the closest thing. The others are way over there. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I can read it. John Milton Brady, apartment 409. Yeah, makes for a good flash draft label. That way you know that's the one where. He got all the fives, telling everyone how to check and post the five. The best ones you can find at uh, vote dash truth dot .com. You can also find it at dapodilia dot blogspot dot com. D a f f o d i l i a. Uh, that's also Christ Complex Two dot wixsite dot com slash dapodilia portfolio site for. I think I put them there. I, I, I got to check. I was uploading. I had to do something else. I better go check on those. But they'll be there soon if they're not already. And you can find 19,000 plus, including my big fives there, that tell you how to check and post five, not one flight 93. Check of America's Lifelines. You calling me up. And reaching me. Not one in over nine years of asking. That's a lot of man's censorship without fear of being covered by even news. Certified mail to me, no mail about the Flight 93 chase. Or uh, any of my tents and getting stuff like my Tommy parable here, or the Osama rumor about that Hussein guy they placed in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry violent, deadly Hussein. Seemed odd to me. About how he, you know, is Osama's son. It's a rumor, but I haven't gotten any comments about it, so if I phone mail, so you never know. It might be true. Look around the eyes. Put two photos right beside each other. Osama and Hussein. Yeah, Obama. And look right around the eyes and I'm disappointed in you. Don't be a hater. I haven't gotten any comments, no Flight 93 checks, uh, nine years of asking, no mail about the Flight 93 check. Make it a video of the mail before you send it, use FedEx, UPS, any private care. And yeah, it takes five minutes to make the video of your, so whoever's in the room there with you, their phone not working, as you try to call me. You're going to get something boring, phone ring, error message, business signal, you have to leave a message, I don't get it. You don't show up on my caller ID, you can find my call log videos on youtube.com slash dnfd series where you can also find links to 19,000 of these to be printed as 4 by 6 prints you know like you print out your family's photos yeah they kind of have to be prepared that way they all have you know kind of a background so part of the image doesn't get cropped off check it out download print them out and yeah, when those Mormons come knocking on your door, they can reach me by phone. Taught me about my Gates livelihood, my hijack lifeline, uh, my hijack real work, building Jesus is Immaculate House here on Earth. Call me up to tell me what you believe. Ask what I mean by, by Jesus is Immaculate House here on Earth. Cities, communities, really not just those places you go to on Sunday or any other day of the week. But the best mankind has to offer in those homes. You can't call me up to tell me about that? Yeah, that's the those folks who place that religious guy. They don't name them Hussein unless they're Muslim. And the highest office in the world right after 9-11. Incredibly bad taste. Uh, yeah. I heard he grew up, or Hussein grew up in Africa uh, during those formative years to be closer to his dad, Osama. 
I haven't got any uh, comments against that uh, Osama rumor. <laughs> None for her either, but uh, uh, yeah. I was in the middle of something. I grew up in Africa, moved to Hawaii, then on to be placed in the highest office in the world. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly things. That seems odd to me. We need to take America back. Truth is the best way to do that. Make that video of America's high tech lifelines. 424-229-4140. Whatever you get when you don't get me, melt. Post. Call me up in front of mayors, governors, senators, network news anchors, local news anchors, any and all in the public eye. Oh, here are the facts. Yeah, all policemen, all cops. You can't you can't reach me by phone? Make a video of the military base's phone. You protect America. Make a video of police station's phone. Fire station's phone. You protect those in your communities, your cities. You can't reach me. You have no idea how many others in your your cities. In America, all your soldiers. Who can't reach those police or those firemen in a timely fashion? It doesn't, it's not always about complete censorship and me not reach it, having one flight 93 checking nine years of asking. Seconds count in emergencies. Make that video of whatever you get when your phone is completely censored and you can't reach me. Be the reporter. Try to call me. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me. Post it. Tell everyone you know to do the same. Come see me in person, have what we'll travel. And show me the perfect place to build a Jesus is a Maclet house here on earth. Best people to start building with. When you see someone other than me and my changing eyes. And those 19,000 plus photos, my examples of my graphic art. I'm not making any money doing because, uh, yeah, private court employers can't reach me by phone. And the next time you're calling up countless other customers besides me. And you get that boring thing. Yeah, it's not going to be boring if you need to fire and place paramedics, but it's money out of your pocket every day. You don't know uh, how many folks, when you call them up, you get that phone ringing, they're a busy signal. Oh, there's the Mormons. What may be a neighborhood with those things? You get everyone in your neighborhood trying to call me and asking them, how do you reach Melton by phone to talk to him about his hijacked religious expression? His hijacked phone, his hijacked lifeline, his hijacked, uh, his gate's livelihood, how do you reach him? You get everyone in your neighborhood checking and posting his Bible in front of them. I can guarantee you they're right you all their sales room. And now, yeah, I see them around here so often being irritating. Try to call me, 424-229-4140. Print these things out so you can explain to everyone about their Gates livelihood and hijack lifeline. Then yeah, come see me. Tear down that great wall of evil that has just me and all my imagery. And let's get started building a better world. And if you see a, a, a girl dropping down the street with her hands right there at the center, Tommy taught her. Pass along my Tommy parables. You can find them on slideshows. You can also find them on youtube.com slash DNFD series. Pick up your phone, be video pioneers. Make your own Tommy. Make your own, tell that joke you got perfectly just once, you never have to tell it again, and yeah. Works for the serious stuff too, what you believe in. Put it on video. Your phone makes a video nowadays, put it to good use, be a video pioneer.